All right, so now we're going to look at doing raster reclassification, um, and we're going to work specifically from a categorical or uh, raster, in this case, uh, land cover from a national land cover data set. All right, so I have this data set. It's land cover. Note it's kind of displayed weird. Um, we're going to just change that real quick. So we'll go to symbology, and instead of doing it as a grayscale, we'll do it as a palleted unique values. We have to let it search for unique values, and it assigns values out. So that's kind of weird. Um, probably want to pick our own values, but we'll just leave it as that for now. Okay, so we'd like to do a reclassify of this, and we just would like to get back a like forest, not forest classification. So I'm going to go to over here and do a search for reclassify, and we can see some different options. We have a, a couple of tools here. Um, in uh, QGIS, and then we have a set of tools here from Saga. So I'm going to demonstrate the QGIS tool. So what we want to do is reclass by table. So click on that, um, and then we want to provide it with the layer, the number of bands. This is, is a single band image. We'll leave that as is. Um, this is for outputting no data values. Um, I'm going to set it to zero. And then we want to build a reclass table. So we're going to need three breaks here. Um, so basically, if a value is from the lowest, which in this case is 11, so I'm just going to put 10 up to the 40s because the 40s are forced. So I'm just going to put in um, 39. Then we're going to have it code to 1. If it's a, in the 40 range, which are the forced categories, to so 41, 42, and 43 specifically. So we'll just use the 40 range. We'll have it code to 2. And then if it's anything else, we'll have it code out to 1 again. Um, and the highest value is 95, so we'll just put in 100. And we'll have that code to 1. We'll hit OK. Um, this range boundaries is interesting. So this, this has to do with how it interprets the breaks of the classes. So basically, this the default is min is greater than value is less than or equal to max. So this means is the max value will be included in this range, but the min value would be included in the prior uh, reclass. So if we go back to our table, basically that would mean that 40 would actually get kicked into bin 1 and 50 would get kicked into bin 2. Um, those are not actually values in the data set, so it really wouldn't matter. Um, if you do want to use your value range explicitly, you can use uh, min is less than or equal to value is less than or equal to max. So that way it'll capture the min and the max value um, for the range. Um, this data type, we'll have it, we'll just let it output to 16-bit. Um, yeah, that should work. And then we'll do uh, run and see what happens. Okay, so there we go. So we got back this surface. Um, it's basically forest and not forest. Um, note that the zero is uh, value is set to null, so we didn't get any weird issues in the margins uh, where data, uh, no, no data values are being treated as if they were um, actual data. And again, this is single grayscale, so we're going to do a palleted version of it so we can have a look at it. So we'll make it like a gray, and then we'll make our forests like a green, and apply, OK. So there we basically have a forest, not forest, class, uh, reclassification for that um, extent. Note that you can do the same type of processes with continuous data. So we we'll turn these off. Here we have an elevation surface ranging from it's not really zero, but it goes up to 1,490 meters to some low value. I'm actually not sure what that value is. Um, we could have a look here, do histogram, compute histogram. So it gives you the distribution. So it looks like there's some values down around 200 meters up to a little over 1,400 meters. So let's say we wanted to do a reclass of this elevation into like ranges or bins. Okay, so hit cancel there, and we'll go back to our reclass by table. So again, single band. Um, we're going to put to, we'll just use zero again. We'll set our ranges there. Um, 
and it's integer yeah so okay so let's do our table and let's just make like four bins so we'll do if it's we'll just do it's nothing less than 100 so we'll do 100 to 500 we'll code that to 1 um, 501 to 700 we'll code to 2 701 to 900 we'll code to 3 and I'll get add a couple more rows in here so we'll do again just adding in some stuff so 1100 4 and then 1101 to 1500 5 so that should work Oh, we don't want to add rows. Remove row. Okay. All right, so we have a reclass table, set a null value. It says use no data when no range matches value. Um, we do have a bit of a gap, but since this is integer, um, they all should be rounded off to whole numbers, so we should be okay. So let's leave that alone. And we'll just set this to 16. And let's see what happens with that. Close. There we go. So now we've re reclassified the values into ranges. Uh, I guess we really don't need to symbolize it. All right, so this is some examples of doing reclassification in QGIS.